What's with Bell Payments? Today we're doing AP Bell Math Minute looking at water potential. So what is the water potential of a 1.5 sucrose solution at 22 degrees Celsius under standard atmospheric conditions? So first thing always, we look at the equation. Water potential is going to be equal to our pressure potential plus our solute potential. And solute potential actually has another formula that we need to make sure we know. And that's negative I, C, R, T. Where I is the ionization constant, so how many ions are formed when it dissociates in water. C is the concentration, usually given in molar. R is going to be our pressure constant, so 0 0.0831 liter bar per mole Kelvin. And then our temperature is going to be our degree Celsius plus 273 to get it into Kelvins. So look back at the question, we see we have sucrose, so that means that we have an ionization of 1 because it's a covalent bond. Uh, it has a concentration of 1.5 molar, and then we know that our temperature is going to be 22 plus 273, giving us 295 Kelvin. So if we sub this to our equation, we see that we have negative 1 times the 1.5 molar times our pressure constant times our temperature of 295 Kelvin. We're going to cross out our moles, cross out our kelvins, and cross out our liters, leaving us just with our unit of bars. So our solute potential is going to be negative 36.77 bars. Now our pressure potential is going to be zero because we're not pushing on the solution or pulling from the solution. Um, so that gives us a overall water potential of negative 36.77 bars. Hope this helps. Remember the EPA pinch. Just says bye y'all.